Hello everyone, this is Dale Cantrell with Meridian Homeless Church, wanting to bring you a Start Your Day Off Right with a video for December the 11th. My uh, quote is, rejoice for those who rejoice. Call me crazy, but I like to see other people happy and succeeding. Life is a journey, not a competition. My story, Brendan Burchard said hope is not something you have or don't have, but it's generated. He said the power plant don't have energy, but it generates it. And so do we with hope. Is there hope? It is a question that's asked by thousands of different people in thousands of different ways. It is asked by patients and people sent doctor's office waiting results of tests. When people are standing by the bed of a loved one at the hospital, that is the question they ask the doctor, is there hope? A parent that is raising an unruly child ask themselves is there hope the couple that have failed over and over and over to make their marriage work the couple who has a missing child for four days ask is there hope you can go 40 days without food and about three days without water about eight minutes without air but you cannot go a single second without hope you need hope to cope a daddy said a doctor studied 25,000 prisoners of war to see what kind of effect lack of hope had on these prisoners. The group that made it through all had as a common denominator a extremely high level of hope. Hope makes all the difference in the world. It's essential in handling a crisis. When a man has hope, he is capable of bearing incredible burdens and suffering. But when hope was gone, man fell, falls apart emotionally, physically and spiritually. Where do you want to where do you go to get that hope that you need? Go to the quacks and trust in something besides God? Romans fifteen thirteen says, Now the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope. Through the power of the Holy Ghost, God is the source of all hope. My scripture is Acts 26, 24 through 25, which says, And as he thus spake for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art mad, thou art beside thyself. Much learning doth make thee mad. But he said, I'm not mad, O most notable Festus, but speak forth the words of truth and soberness. Now humor, give, given the title on the subjects of buckets and its quick, simple message, this story is a good partner and analogy to the rocks in the bucket time management story. I hope you've heard it. I've told it myself. The story illustrates lateral thinking, narrow-mindedness, and the risk of making assumptions and judging people in situations. A party of suppliers were given a tour of the mental institution. One of the visitors had made some very insulting remarks about the patients. After the two of the visitors were introduced to various members of the staff in the canteen, the rude visitor chatted to one of the security staff, Bill, a, high, a kindly and wise ex-policeman. Are all... Are they all raving loonies in here then, said the rude man. Only the ones who failed the test, said Bill. What's the test, said the man. Well, we show them a bath full of water, a bucket and a jug and a egg cup, and we ask them what's the quickest way to empty the bath, says Bill. Oh, I see. The normal ones know it's the bucket, right? No, actually, the normal ones say, pull the plug. Should I check when there's a bed free for you? So this is Dale Cantrell with Marieville Holiness Church saying I didn't come to replace your minister, but only to supplement in case you couldn't get to church. Uh, if you if you have a quote, a story, a scripture, a uh, humor, a clean joke, if you could send it to me, my phone number is 256-508-4410. And until we do this next time, may God richly bless you.